Billy Cohen, an ex-Marine turned fugitive, was wanted for the murders of 23 innocent civilians. As it turns out, Billy was framed for these murders and was given a death sentence for a crime he didn't commit. Billy managed to escape custody and essentially faked his own death to start a new life. But how long before a zombie outbreak and the destruction of Raccoon City finally catches up to Billy? A long missing character's whereabouts explored in this gaming mystery. Before the events of Resident Evil Zero, Second Lieutenant Billy Cohen and a squad of fellow Marines were sent to Africa to combat a guerrilla training complex. As it turned out, the complex was actually filled with innocent civilians. Billy and his squad were ordered to kill them anyway, much to his dismay. The civilians were killed, but Billy never even pressed his trigger. For his negligence, Billy's superior completely framed this murderous event on Cohen, stating that Billy panicked under extreme conditions and unintentionally killed the civilians. For the crimes Billy was not guilty of, he was sentenced to death. In shackles, Billy was being transported in a military vehicle that was headed towards Reggaeton base where he was to be executed. This military vehicle took what was possibly the least safest route to get there, through the Arklay Forest, where sure enough, the convoy and all the security guards were torn to pieces by a wild pack of Cerebrus. Billy managed to escape the pack and took shelter in the Ecliptic Express, a train that, unfortunately for Billy, would become the site of a deadly zombie outbreak. Zombies, leeches, and other terrifying creatures took the train over and it was up to Billy to survive on his own, until he met Rebecca Chambers, a STARS operative. Initially, Rebecca wanted to turn Billy in as he was a fugitive on the run, but they began to bond as they fought for their survival together. Having endured a nightmarish adventure, Rebecca calls in and confirms Billy's death so that he can start anew. After all, he was innocent. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. And this was the very last we ever saw of Billy Cohen. No other game, novel, or film appearances. Is there enough evidence left behind in Resident Evil Zero to try to map out what may have happened to Billy Cohen? The ending conversation between Rebecca and Billy was pretty brief. She essentially gives him the nod to escape and get himself a new identity. What wasn't said in the game that was said in the official novelization is a pretty important clue as to where Billy might have gone. This is the actual quote. He watched her until she disappeared, lost to the shadows of the woods, then turned, looking for a path of his own. He decided that South sounded pretty good, and started walking, enjoying the warm sun on his shoulders, the song of the birds in the trees. Billy Cohen, being a country boy, seemed set on his direction, South. Now South of Resident Evil Zero's ending location actually gets pretty scary. Before we try to find the possible location Billy may have ended up in, there's one thing to note. Billy is 8 to 10 miles away from any sort of civilization. He is in the midst of a grueling Arclay forest, infested with Cerebrus and other creatures. Unless he finds a car, Billy most likely had to venture out in foot. 8 to 10 miles may take up to 2 or 3 hours on foot. Billy was completely capable of surviving through worse things, or could he have died in the forest? For the sake of the video, let's say Billy survives the 2 hour trip. The next stop would be Raccoon City, which isn't exactly the safest place in the US. Billy would have arrived to Raccoon City around the afternoon since the ending scene takes place in the morning. On that same night, July 23rd, Rebecca and the SARS team experienced the mansion incident. But Billy would have been in Raccoon City safely away from all that danger, and it wasn't until September where all of Raccoon City was infested with zombies. Here's a couple theories that I've come up with to fit the timeline. If Billy stayed in Raccoon City after the events of Resident Evil Zero, he's a maniac. It wouldn't be safe due to the fact that Billy is still a wanted man and his last whereabouts were not far from Raccoon City. The most likely scenario is that Billy did not spend more than 20 minutes in Raccoon City before taking a bus, not a train this time, to somewhere far away from his last known location. For the sake of the theory, it's say Billy did stay in Raccoon City. He would have been free for two months before zombies invaded maybe got himself a job at the gun shop. It's hard to imagine Billy staying in Raccoon, but if he did, he probably wouldn't have survived the outbreak and the eventual nuking of Raccoon shortly after. If Billy had any brains left, he'd definitely keep going south. But what is south from a fictitious Raccoon City? 
I had to go on a bit of a limb here, but fans have concluded that Raccoon City is most likely a county within the state of Missouri. Capcom has only stated that Raccoon City is located in the Midwest US, and the population appears to be the same among other factors. Directly south of Missouri is Arkansas and Louisiana. Arkansas is still a little too close to hide for Billy, so let's say he stayed put in Louisiana. Billy, under a different alias, would become a Louisiana resident in 1998. Almost 20 years later, a huge storm hits Louisiana. Only it isn't actually a storm, but another outbreak, and the events of Resident Evil 7 take place. They're mine now. What? Trouble seems to find Billy no matter where he goes. I could see Billy surviving in this scenario until, you know, the molded show up at his house. Contrasting is a great tool used by writers to inadvertently say what's going to happen through a phrase that stands out. After Rebecca flat out says, officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Billy says, yeah, I'm just a zombie now. The line stands out not only as a lame joke, but perhaps it was Capcom's way of saying that this is what happened to Billy, for those of you who are wondering. Billy becomes a zombie, one way or the other. Perhaps he encountered one too many zombies during his two and a half or three hour walk towards Raccoon City. Perhaps he did in fact stay in Raccoon City and stayed long enough that he became a zombie during the outbreak. Maybe he just got lost and was never seen again. Billy Cohen's whereabouts are indeed an unsolved mystery. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this gaming mystery, there's another linked on the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below other mysteries you'd like me to explore. Thanks for all the support guys, and as always, stay single.